all right guys um haven't uploaded a video in the past two weeks just being lazy and uh here i'm back uh with a new video just something i picked up during the february and the majority of them is from japan so let's just get right into the first item so yeah as you already see here this is a pair of uh, undercover denim it's more like a also like a sweatpants, something like that. So this is their hybrid pants or hybrid denim. So the fr the front of this pants is a full denim, and in the back you already see it's a sweatpants material. And just combine the two part together and make it like a yeah, it's it's just really interesting look. So if you're walking, if you people see you in the front, you see it's wearing denim, but from the back, you wear like a sweatpants there. For this denim, it's just really simple, like faded black wash, and uh, with these rebel guards in backwards printed around the crotch area. And it's already a little bit faded because this denim, is, I think it's like a mid 2000, 2003, 2004, something like that. And uh, like some distressing detail and also this is like like a L shape cutting around the knee I mean I don't think like anyone paid much attention on this one of grail at the beginning because everyone just trying to find the 68 denim or the 85 denim and but right now currently I barely see any hybrid pants available or like sold on grail so I don't know, I mean, it's just getting harder to harder to find this thing, so... So in the back, actually, it's a, it's a feel, you can see there's a, actually this is a neck piece. And also, yeah, it's just like a, a few different sweatshirt and cut it together. You can see here, this is also like a, around the front of the neck, the, yeah. And the feet of this denim actually is not skinny at all, and but it's also not baggy. It's it's kind of weird because you get this sweatpants material, so actually it's super comfortable. It's just like wearing a regular sweatpants. And yeah, the, the back part is this is already all faded, so really, really old. And uh, here's the label. So from this label, it should be like around 2003 to 2005. And uh, also, you see the wash tag is already all yellowing. So yeah, it's definitely some years in these pants. Yeah, overall, I mean, this is definitely one of my favorite undercover denim because it, the hybrid design is just so, it just amused me like, and it's really easy to wear and I feel like all the hype is on those like 68 denim and 85 denim because of, like Ian Connor and all those guys wearing it and um, for sizing of this denim you already see the tag this is a size large and I think the fits around like 32 maybe 33 because you know the sweatpants is have more stretch on it so it's, it doesn't like feel like like a regular denim you have like a tight up waist i mean if you're trying to find the same or similar style from undercover or any other brand i would say first definitely look into grilled and then also yahoo auction you need to know how to use yahoo auction because literally all these archive account or those grilled japanese sellers they got their shit from yahoo auction and then and then resell it. I mean, that's just how it works. I'm not exposing anyone, but I mean, if you know how it works, you will definitely find a better deal for sure. All right, I'm gonna move into the next one. All right, here's the second item. So this is a pair of uh, Spring Summer 18 needles, narrow track pants in this beautiful velour. And this is actually the official name, it should be maroon, so it's kind of like a, a dark purple, but with the velour, you get a really like good shine on this one. With this uh, like uh, jungle green or 
like with this green strap on the side. Also picked this up from Japan and so the price is really good. I mean, there's really nothing too much to talk about. The needle has just got way too much attention since like the year before, I guess. ASAP Rocky and Ian Connor and all those people start rocking those track bands and make them harder and harder and harder to buy. But I believe they're expanding stockist around the US and but the US retail price it just still it's uh it's just robbery. I mean it's almost the double the Japanese price. So this is uh, like the narrow version. Um compared to the regular version I think it just a cut is more slim have probably a smaller leg opening and uh, yeah and uh, so I think I talked on my previous video regarding needles so the zipper is always PK and uh, made in Japan so personally I think this is probably the best colorway from spring summer 18 just in comparison with this one so I do get both colorways, but I plan to keep the maroon one. So this is just uh, the official name is the charcoal and red. But like I always feel like this have a little bit of hint of a green into it. I don't know. It's just, it just this thing just looks green to me. I mean in real life. So yeah, I'm 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 selling this pair. So this is a size small. I mean, I'm listed on my grill, and if you're interested, I'm selling it at a retail for sure. That's a pickup number two. So lastly, I have this uh, Gamde Gasson shirt, uh, paper tote bag. So this is a uh, uh, brown paper tote bag. Like, I think they've done this before with a lot of like, uh, uh, you know, the main brand or like Gamde Gasson black market. So this is just their thing. So they kind of like redid this one and their Kandekasan shirt, which is like a men's brand. So this is actually a men's tote bag. Uh, interesting about this one is like, you can use as a tote bag or they actually give you another like shoulder bag. So you can use it as a shoulder bag as well. So it's just like a, a real brown paper bag and coated with this like a PVC layer so it's a real uh, paper inside of it so and over the time I think it'll get more crease in the back but that actually looks better I think and on the inside it's just super simple it's a full canvas and you have the come take a sun shirt patch there and uh, yeah I probably plan using this bag um, to work maybe it can fit in a laptop easily so and I don't have really much going on besides the laptop I need so yep here you have it um, come make a sound shirt tote bag that's everything you get on this video and hope you guys enjoy it if you have any questions leave a comment or ask me on Instagram and peace out